saying this for myself, and I think I can speak for all women when I say this. Women want somebody that's respected. I have to be with somebody that has some type of respect. What? I don't need nobody feeling like they could play with you and they could try to talk to me and it ain't going to be no consequences. I need to feel like no one's allowed to talk to me. We live in a society where women, they're just so ungrateful. Stay tuned. What's going on everybody and welcome back. Happy New Year to everybody. As you see, I have a new tie, more ties are on the way, but in this video, we're going to discover why the modern woman's entitlement has just spiraled out of control. And later on in the video, we're going to explain why modern women are the way that they are. Without further ado, you know what we're going to do. Without further ado, you know what we're going to do. We're going to roll that clown. I'm saying this for myself, and I think I can speak for all women when I say this. Women want somebody that's respected. I have to be with somebody that has some type of respect. I don't need nobody feeling like they could play with you, and they could try to talk to me, and it ain't going to be no consequences. I need to feel like no one's allowed to talk to me. And I mean, when you're considered attractive, it is going to be people that's going to try it, but I want them to feel like they got to scatter like a rat when, you know, they find out I deal with you. And you don't got to be this big gangster or anything that's terrorizing the city, but you got to have some type of respect. Like you got to be a, a solid, good person that people just know not to play with. No one should feel comfortable trying to talk to me. Women don't want that. This is the reason why the choices of women are important. If a woman is used to a type of guy, that is who she is going to be used to. This woman is basically saying she wants a hood guy. She wants a bad boy. She wants a guy who every other guy is scared of. And this is the dilemma that we have in the black community, especially with our women, is our women, they love the bad boy. They just love the bad boy. They don't want a hardworking nine to five man. They want a man who is going to put their life in danger, be out on the street, bring bad vibes and energy around the house. They do not want the straight laced square guy. They want a guy that is like future, like ASAP Rocky, like a lot of these rappers that are dressing and acting like criminal. That is who black women want. And when we get into the psychology behind why people want this it goes back to their childhood why do you think a lot of black women like men that act and dress like thugs they're born into fatherless homes understand that a lot of black men are like this but a lot of black women enjoy this black women are not saying i want a nine to five they're saying i want a thug dating a drug dealer i felt more feminine than i ever felt in my life the best gifts i ever had in my life i felt the most feminine with a drug dealer. you're young the risk it's worth that reward for you, but as you age and get older, you realize you can get that excitement from doing other things. We're being totally honest. Drug dealers are more romantically 
they know they know women they know women because they get a lot of women so they know women i like drug dealers i like scammers a nine to five i don't even work a nine to five <laughs> I want about you. What's your type? What you I like? like drug dealers, <laughs> dark lied. skin. She like drug dealers and scammers, y'all. They gotta have money. The 9 to 5 money. guy or a perk head drug dealer with money? Oh, um, perk head. A perk head drug dealer with money. Perk drug dealer with money. <laughs> I'm with the perk head with the money. A drug dealer. I like drug dealers. How bad is the perk addiction? And you see a lot of people, a lot of people, come here, come here. A lot of people will say that these videos are skits, that these videos are fake, but the comments don't lie. The reason why a lot of women are in the situation that they're in is because of their own choices. <laughs> Sensational. See, after a certain point, ladies, you have to take the mask off and realize that it is your fault for the reason why you're in this situation. It is your fault as to the reason why you're bitter and single and lonely and can't get a man. It is your fault for the reason why you're not in a relationship right now. And I want you to make a New Year's resolution since it's the new year. Welcome to 2024. Stop dealing with bad guys. Stop it. Get some help. Learn what a real man is. Learn what a real man does. And learn how to attract a real man. Because the thugs and the gangsters and the bad boys... All they're going to do is lead you down a road of destruction that you don't even want to go on. I know it's all flashy with all the money and the cars and the Benzes and the Beamers and the big house, but a lot of that is fake. A lot of that is for the TV. They're selling you a dream to get you hooked on their music. And then they say, okay, well, I want to be like them. And you know, in the black community, what does black people always do? They follow celebrity. So don't be surprised when a lot of our children are now ending up like sexy red talking about pound time. We are easily influenced in the black community to follow after celebrities and we treat them like gods and goddesses because we genuinely want to be like them. That is why we do it. We do it because we want that life. We want that money. We want that exposure. We all want to be a celebrity. So we follow them even though we can't be like them. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. Do not forget, I am going live on YouTube next week. Check out my live section and notify yourself when I'm going live. I would love to see your face in the place. And until the next video, peace.